What's going on guys, Unknown Player here, and today I'm bringing you guys the final map for the Nemesis DLC 4 for Call of Duty Ghosts, and uh, yesterday I made a video about the map Dynasty, I'll link that and the other videos I've made so far on this map pack in the playlist, which is in the description, they'll be at the top of that list, and tomorrow morning I'll have a video covering the Extinction Episode 4 map, which is really, really epic, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and be checking back early tomorrow, or keep an eye on my Twitter, which will always be in the description, I'll be tweeting out when that video is going live, so it's a really cool map, can't wait to show it to you you guys and of course when the DLC launches I'll be making even more videos on this channel so make sure you're checking back lots of exciting things to come but today we're looking at the map Showtime which if you haven't guessed already is a reimagined version of the COD 4 map Shipment that's right so the crazy crazy tiny map Shipment from COD 4 is actually returned in Call of Duty Ghosts and this is gameplay of it right here but first we're going to take a look at the actual field order of course every map has one of these and uh, right now we're going to take a look at this it's a very very strange one I still don't 100% understand it and uh, so right here you can see uh, I actually managed to get this in a normal game so this wasn't even like a setup uh, demonstration of it this is actually a normal game against other people and I managed to get this in domination I called it in and as you can see right here it's called the slot machine when you call it in it will essentially summon a bunch of jets which will come in and if you actually look in the sky you'll see it's really, really cool the Amer American kind of I think it's Star Spangled Banner anthem plays and uh, the jets will have kind of these rare red and blue and white jet streams coming off them which is really really cool and they'll fly over and they will drop I think five care packages on the map perhaps even six and uh, one of them uh, there's a chance it could be another slot machine when you call that one in it might do something else there's a lot of possibilities in this it's, it's similar to a slot machine where there's a lot of possibilities and it's very very random but uh, some of them might be another slot machine when you call that in it will do one of either three things I think one of them is a missile that will come down and destroy the map and uh, kill a bunch of people for you another one is a bunch of sentry guns that will open up somewhere on the map and another one is a bunch of gas or you get a combination of the three I believe so you can see one of them right here and um According to the first one, it was a slot machine. There was about six care packages that came down. Most of them are UAVs, but one of them was the actual slot machine again. I called that in, and all these hatches came down. You see these hatches right here. They came down, and there's sentry guns inside of them, and they just gunned down so many people. And I think it was like an instant five kills. Everyone freaked out. They didn't know what was going on, and uh, it just killed like loads of people for me, and uh, that is what happened. And then later on, we did to kind of demonstrate what was happening. We all kind of gathered around to see what happened. You can see the jets right here that fly over head with the red white and blue stripes and they dropped six care packages and uh, you can see it was random nothing actually happened this time and then we did it another time and then I think two of the events happened so it was the sentry guns and the gas you can see right here the sentry guns came down they shot a bunch of people and you can see them right here they kind of sit there and then after about 20 or 30 seconds they'll pop back up and there's also a bunch of green gas that seems to appear I'm not sure why it didn't kill me it might be that uh, it only kills people when the gas first comes out so uh, like on, on initial kind of introduction of the gas it kills people but it wasn't killing me for some reason but you can see right here the gas that happens in the outside of the mats but uh, now we'll jump in to some gameplay this is some crazy crazy gameplay right here and very very fast action packs as you would expect off the map shipment but um you see right here uh, is pretty much the exact same thing of shipment but they've actually added some slight things this kind of had to happen because if you think about Call of Duty Ghost and shipment it really wouldn't work if it was the original one but it does also depend on the game mode so in the domination gameplay right here it's the full extended version there's basically like an extra trim around the map there's an extended perimeter around the map that kind of gives you some extra space like okay, a couple like buildings a few extra stairs and kind of areas to call in your kill streaks and that's also where the A and C domination flags are and of course the B is right in the middle very very difficult to cap that flag I tried to do it several times and uh, sometimes it worked sometimes it didn't but you can see the kind of extra trim right here and uh, in some game modes it isn't actually activated you'll see later on in kill confirmed this trim isn't actually open so you start off the game and it's original shipments there's nothing at all has changed it's literally the tiny tiny original shipment map in kill confirmed and then at some point I think maybe about two minutes into the game I'm not sure whether it's uh, triggered by the amount of kills the score that's gone up or whether it's just a time activated thing but at some point a few of the doors opened up so you could actually access a few of the extra areas it wasn't a full open up map like domination but it was kind of like half of the extended the extended perimeter that you could access so it's definitely very very strange i can't wait to play it some more to figure out exactly how it works but essentially it's a tiny tiny map don't expect to go on any long kill streaks or anything serious or major on this map it's going to be crazy there's going to be people spawning right next to you there's going to be explosives there's going to be loads of gunfire and uh, if you haven't actually played cod 4 this is actually new to you and COD 
4 wasn't your first Call of Duty that you've played, then uh, just to let you know, Shipman is the smallest Call of Duty map that's ever been in multiplayer history. It's absolutely tiny, so we're very, very small. It's just a bunch of crates, and the original one in COD 4 was just kind of like a shipping crate area, and it was essentially just like this small little pit where you'd go, and it was essentially meant for 1v1s, maybe 2v2s, and uh, it was kind of like a 1v1 map. That's what it was essentially made for, but sometimes, I believe back in COD 4, you could also play Headquarters and perhaps Domination. I'm not too sure about that, but I remember you definitely could play Headquarters on this map, and I'm pretty sure Headquarters is being like discontinued. I think there was a Modern Warfare 2, and they cut it off after that, but Headquarters was definitely a game mode on this, and all I remember was absolute craziness, so it's really cool they've brought this map back, and it's a COD 4 map, I believe, in the, all the DLC formats. We haven't had a COD 4 map return yet, but this is it. It's what a lot of people are asking for. A lot of people kind of joked about shipment and how funny that would be to return, but a lot of people didn't really think it would seriously happen. I personally didn't think it would seriously happen because it didn't seem very realistic, but I'm actually really surprised and also really happy they brought it back. I can't believe they actually brought back shipment. I was really surprised when I first saw they actually did this, and uh, the gameplay, as you can see here, is just completely crazy. It's just people running everywhere, and uh, the domination gameplay right here, the flag, the B flag, is just completely deadly. There's just people spawning all around you. It's, uh, it's a very, very difficult flag to cap, obviously, and at uh, some points you'll see, like right here when we get to the kill confirmed gameplay, uh, you'll see it's a lot more the smaller map, so as I said, for the first kind of minute or so, it's just the small kind of cut down version. It's literally the original shipment, how it was. So imagine playing this back in the day in COD 4. This is what it was like if you've never played COD 4 before, and uh, it's just crazy that we've got like this in Call of Duty Ghost, because obviously there are a lot of kill streaks. You'll see at some point I do actually get a fairly decent kill streak. I get some Trinity rockets, I get a helicopter and some better, the Griffin kill streak, and uh, it does okay. It doesn't do amazingly because uh, honestly, people move very, very fast around this map, so they're sprinting around, and uh, it's kind of difficult to shoot people. I mean, it's kind of shooting fish in a barrel, but uh, they move very, very quickly, and uh, there's a lot of cover, so it's very difficult to kill people. I would imagine a Helo pilot would do absolute work on this map. I bet a Helo pilot would do really well. I can't wait to hop online and try and uh, get a Helo pilot and see how that works in this map. I bet it would kill a lot of people because there's not really much cover. The Griffin isn't the best choice, but uh, I do think a Helo pilot would do very, very well. Uh, perhaps not a Juggernaut. I can imagine you getting ganged up upon and uh, just kind of killed by like, multiple people at once. Probably not the best idea, but uh, I do think the Loki, I think that would do very, very well. If you think about it, the large rods that it shoots down, that can pretty much destroy pretty much the whole radius of this map, if you think about it. When it's in the smaller version, the Loki would just shoot down a large rod, and the blast radius is absolutely huge. So the Loki might be a very, very good idea. I'm going to have to try that out and uh, see how it works. But in general, it's exactly how I remember it. It's small, it's crazy, there's just tons of stuff always going on at all times, and uh, the shipping crates are in the exact same positions, so you've got the same lines of sight, the same areas of cover, and stuff like that. I absolutely love this map. It's so much fun and so random, so crazy. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this, and uh, let me know your thoughts on this DLC. Which map can you not wait to get on and play when this DLC launches? Hopefully you enjoyed this video and all these early videos I've made. If you do, give it a like rating, and uh, make sure you stick around for more videos that are coming out soon. Make sure you check out G2A in the description. They've got some really good sales going on right now for PC games, Xbox Live codes, and kind of PC games you can pre-order and stuff like that. So make sure you check out that in the description. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.